All right, so to get the shape for the board that I want to support the back of the boat with, I just clamped it on the hull and then measured at the edges what the gap was and used that as my guide to mark that distance all the way across the bottom and then connect the dots and that gives this nice line. So if I'm halfway decent at measuring, which no promises, if I cut along this line, it should match pretty well to the underside of the hull right here, right behind the drain, the cockpit drain, which is where I'm gonna put the first stringer. That's a pretty good place to support the boat because that's where the back of the cockpit is. So there's a kind of a vertical wall right on the underside of this. Uh, ideally you'd use a jigsaw, but I can't find my jigsaw to save my life. So I'm gonna go grab my circular saw and I hope that these curves are gentle enough I'm going to be able to cut them out just with a circular saw. We'll see. All right, so look, we established this isn't a woodworking channel because of like the three or four ways you could do that. I'm pretty certain that was the worst. All right, guys, so we just need to put the boat on the trailer now to test fit it. So if you guys could just go lift up the boat and, and test fit it. No, I right, so Max, why don't you get this end? Finn, you pick up the other end. Uh, that's the heavy one. And you guys can just pick it up and, yeah, just, you do just, it, just pick it up. Obvious. Just pick it up, Finn. Finn, why aren't you picking it up? Okay, one, two. No! Well, why aren't you guys picking it up? I am. All right. Let's make a machine. You want to make a machine? No. Machine time. Yay! All right, boys, have you ever heard of mechanical advantage? Yes. This is a two to one mechanical advantage. <laughs> yeah, well, it doesn't work. Go on, lift it up. Still no, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if we can all do it. This is insane. Happy. 
Finn, hold the side. Keep it from... Stand up. It's not heavy. You're just balancing it, okay? Is it still in front of it? In the middle. It's in front. It's in front. Like, like... There's a lot of... So... For pretty much just eyeballing everything, that is pretty well aligned. I don't know even how we did this. If anything, it's actually a little bit far back on the trailer and could come forward a little bit, but... <laughs> look at me, look at me. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, so the alignment's pretty good. It's reasonably level. Um, it might be just a smidge far back on the trailer, but the tongue weight's not bad. So from a trailability perspective, it's gonna be stable. Um, it does hang off the back end a little bit. So we may need to adjust this forward a little bit. We'll see. I've been trying to figure out what to do with the front end of this boat on the trailer. And in all honesty, it's just been kicking my butt. Uh, I actually let it sit for a few weeks just because I got frustrated with it. It's kind of a complicated angle here. And an actual like winch support would cost you know, like $200, $300. That's way overkill here. And I was trying to do something with you know, like a 4x4 four four there and then some 2x4s that would go up under the lip here to support the boat really well. But there's so many complicated angles up in here that trying to get everything to fit just right and trying to get these two you know, flat, straight 2x4s two by, two by in a way that was going to hold the boat that I was happy with was just proving impossible. It was, it was rocking up, it was rocking down, uh, and it was just a real pain in the neck. And then it occurred to me eventually that just because I'm trying to make a lot of this myself doesn't mean I have to make all of it myself. So, for the really expensive price of 12 bucks, I got a little rubber bow block. Uh, and that's just gonna go here. I'm still gonna have to make something like this, but the angle is not gonna be quite so critical. I can put a little rubber support right there. That'll really do a nice job of holding the boat up. I'll take this up a little bit higher. I'll put a um, an eye there or something to tie the front of the boat to once I get a handle up here, just hold everything down. And I think that'll work really well. I've also come up with a plan for cinching it down to the metal. I'd rather not have to drill into the metal just to have fewer holes in it. Um, so I got a plan for that. And I think it's gonna work out. So let's see how this goes. Okay, here's how this is gonna work. I have this piece angled here with a fancy bow, bow block right there. It's gonna be great. And on each side of that, there's going to be bolted through it a 2x4 like that. That's going to hold it. And then across the bottom, bolted down from those 2x4s, there are going to be two pieces like that that actually hold it on. So all together, it's going to be the, you know, this little sandwich that's going to clamp onto this. I think it should work pretty well. All right, I got most of these holes drilled. So now it's mostly just assembly from here out. I undersized everything just a little bit. This is a tight fit. I may have overdone it here, we'll see.
they end up being freakishly long, but the only option they had at the hardware store in these bolts was six inches or eight inches. If I end up having to grind them off, it'll be okay. I've got all this loosely on, nothing's really tight yet. I can still slide this back a little bit because the next thing that I want to do is get this V bumper in there. And once I get that attached, I'm going to slide everything forward a little bit just to make sure that it's really holding the weight of the boat. Because right now this is pretty loose and ultimately I do want that to be held on pretty well. So I think it needs to be kind of about there be pretty good. So I'll just mark that. These are designed to go in a bracket, a kind of swivel bracket that I don't have. And I spent a little bit of time worrying about it and then I decided I'm just going to use a couple stainless steel screws straight through it into the wood and that'll hold it well enough for anything I'm doing here. I mean, it's a little boat. Pretty happy with that. So there you go. I'll support up front. Two supports under the hole back here. I've got some fabric that I'll cover those in. Looking pretty good. Just gotta go get it titled and we'll be ready to go sailing. To cover these bunks, I'm just using some old um, marine fabric that I had from the interior of another boat that I worked on. And I'm just nailing it on. I'm using roofing, screw roofing nails. Um, they might be the best thing in the world, but they're galvanized, so they'll last a little bit longer. In the past, I've just used normal staples, um, but those rusted out really fast, so these should last longer. Uh, and it's not like they're holding up you know, a whole bunch here. It's just holding some fabric down. So I got this one done. Get the other one done, we'll be good to go. I still have a few more details, like finishing the wiring and getting it registered. But other than that, this thing's ready to go. I extended the tongue, I added some bunks, I got the support up by the bow, and I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Have the kids do that part. You wanna come do it? Yeah. Alright, come on then. Just listen. I like it. Yeah, <laughs> it's really hard until you have to do it, isn't it? Alright, go. Y'all, if you want more photos, hit like or subscribe. <laughs> I don't know. That's why it took me three times to say it. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. You heard the woman.